steps to purify from COVID according to the scriptures and from any influenza contamination of soul. Before practicing this instruction, we suggest manifesting to the Lord Yeshua the Messiah our reverence and repentance in a short prayer like this. Lord Yeshua, who bore my iniquities and my infirmities on the tree, I approach you with thanksgiving and repentance. I confess to you I have sinned, and I beg you to forgive me. I receive you into my life as my healer, my Lord, and my Savior. Thank you so much for healing, purifying, accepting, and forgiving me. In your name, Yeshua. Amen. The following is a list of simple instructions that is scripturally based and consists of repeating the same steps three times over a period of seven days. First step. The first day, the day that the symptoms appear or that contact was made with the contamination, the washing of the clothes and body with water should be performed. First, put the sacrifice of Yeshua, the Messiah, in the flowing or static water by proclaiming, preferably with the palm of the hand towards the water. I place the sacrifice of Yeshua, the Messiah, in this water and proclaim that this water is water of purification in the name of Yeshua. What needs to be done is in order of preference. Immerse, wash, or splash, sprinkle with the water over which the sacrifice of Messiah Yeshua has been proclaimed. Everything that has been touched and or contaminated by sequence of touching by a person who contacted uncleanness, especially the fabrics, clothes, bedding, mattresses, etc., must undergo this simple process that one proclaims when washing. I take a shower or wash in the name of Yeshua and proclaim that I am pure and healed. And for the items or clothes when washing them, proclaim that they are pure in the name of Yeshua. As far as possible, do not touch the clothes used on this day after purifying them with water. Wash them again on the third and seventh day without touching them directly, using gloves or similar. On the second day, nothing needs to be done. Number two, on the third day, repeat the exact same process and try to do it at the same time. This must include the bed on which the person has rested. On day four, Five and six, nothing needs to be done. Three, on the seventh day, repeat the same instructions as above. The person who has already been contaminated with the uncleanness, convalescing or isolated for more than three days, can start from the third day and then the seventh and not perform the first. Finally, Do not forget to praise and thank the Lord Yeshua when the healing manifests. May the Lord Yeshua heal and bless you. If you would like to learn more, you can contact us. All praise and glory and honor to Yeshua, our Messiah and King.